Hi, welcome to Mini Shops How to Sculpt Videos with myself, Elizabeth, and today I'll be showing you how to make a little frog. I always love seeing what you guys make, so send me a photo and I can share it at the end of one of my videos. Let's get to it! To begin, you'll need some sort of work mat to protect your tabletop. I just use a plain old piece of paper. You'll also need some clay, green, pink, black, and an itty bitty amount of white. You also need a potter's needle, a toothpick works just great, a toothpick, a silicone dowel tool, or a pen tip works as well. Take your green clay and warm it up. We do this so it doesn't crack in the oven. And take about as much as the tip of your thumb and roll it into a ball between your thumb and index finger or between your palms or on your work surface. Once it's gotten into a ball shape, press it between your thumb and index finger ever so slightly and then smooth out the edges like so. And now here's an example of something gets on your clay. Take your toothpick or potter's needle and just slightly flick it off and then smooth that spot back out again. Or you can leave it for character. All right, now that we have that, we're gonna take about two thirds as much, roll it into a ball again, press it between our fingers and smooth the sides by just tapping around. All right, now set it up against the body and we're gonna press right here at the very base with our thumb, just a little bit of an indent so it has a slight curve. And we'll take that, set it next to our body. We're gonna take our toothpick, size it up and split it so that about half is in the body, half is in the head. Like that, press it into your body, but just twist it to press it so that it doesn't smush your body. All right, size it up, make sure it won't poke through the other side of your head and press ever so slightly. All right, set that down, take a little bit of clay and roll it around, roll it into a fat snake and then press that between your fingers to flatten it. We're gonna take that and put it on one side of the head and wrap it around to the other side. This is where the mouth of the frog is. Okay, kind of like a ring of Saturn. So now we're gonna smooth that top portion in, smoothing it with your fingers, or you can take your silicone dowel tool and smooth it out as well. All right, once that's smoothed in there, you may have accidentally pressed it a little bit down here, but it's okay. You can just always smooth it out like so. All right, take this again and roll it into a slender snake this time. About yay big, and you can smooth the end by tapping your finger on it. Set it about a little offset of halfway on the top of the face and pull it down over the edge and then break it off like so. Smooth that edge again with your fingers set this piece of clay right near the previous piece of clay we just added pull it around the same way you did and break it off set that down take your clay and about as much as these two pieces combined for one of the eyes and then about that much for the other eye you can roll them around make sure they're about the same size unless you want different size eyes for your frog roll them into balls and then kind of make them into a teardrop shape at the last second and flatten them just a smidge Set those right next to this portion. And then on this side, roll that out, flatten it, smooth it a little bit, and set it right next to the other side. And then you can take either your silicone dowel tool or your pen tip and just slightly press right at the junction on both of the eyes. All right, we've got our indents. So I'm gonna set my guy down for a second and then I'm gonna take some more clay it doesn't matter how much, just quite a bit. And I'm gonna roll it into a ball. Rolling it into a ball kind of smooths it out before I went to work with it. So once you have that, you can roll it into the legs. So you can roll it on your tabletop, evenly pressing throughout the whole thing. Okay, once they're about the size you would like your frog's legs, take it, size it up, see? Oh, that needs to be a little bit thinner. Or if you need to make it thicker, just re-roll it. Okay. Now this end isn't even, so I will smooth that off. And then I'm gonna flatten it just a tiny bit, not completely flattened, but just a smidge. I'll set this right here, right on the edge of this face. Kind of tap it in to smooth it on. And then right at the edge, I'm gonna bend that and then use my fingernail just to make a quick cut, like so. And I'm gonna smooth this side again, smoothing the edge between my fingers by rolling it. And then we will set that right there on the other side to match. You can have the legs close together, you can have them separated, however you wish. Pull it down, bend it, and cut it to right about the same size as the other foot. All right, 
Now to make the webbed portion, press the base of the foot down and pull slightly. And just press and pull and then you can take your fingers and pinch the sides so that it gets more triangular like this on both of the feet. And you can move them a little bit so that you don't bump into one foot while trying to uh, sculpt the other foot. All right, once you have that, take this roll that we've rolled and set it at the base of your frog. Kind of smush it in to attach it and then fold it over about two thirds of the way up on the frog. All right, and once you get to about even with these feet, fold it over and split a portion off. And then do the same process for the feet, flattening it and then pinching it into a triangular type shape. All right, you can bring it closer or just have your feet however you'd like them. And then we'll do that on the other side. If you've run out of your rope, just re-roll some more. Set it at the base, fold it over a little ways up, and then fold it over where you want the feet to be. And then cut it at the size of the foot you want. Smooth that edge back, and then pinch the base to make it angled. And then just work with it until your frog's feet are how you would like them. All right, now take your toothpick or potter's needle and make a little line down the edges, like so. You can make it kind of a little triangle or just straight back. Now you see my nail accidentally scraped my frog. I can just smooth that right out. Or if I couldn't, I would use my potter's needle. Okay, once you have this, we're gonna take a little, little bit of white, about an eighth as much as we took for the eye portions. And then you're going to split that into two roll those into balls so that they're even and then plop them in these indents like this and like this okay once you have that take your silicone dowel tool and indent into those white sections like so and then take about the same amount of black clay then you can split it in half with your nail or your toothpick roll those into balls so they're the same size and then kind of flatten them just a smidge Set those in on top of the white. Sometimes they'll be a little oblong, so just roll with them until you get them the size that you would like. All right, now we can take our toothpick or a potter's needle and take a tiny little flick of white clay and then set that as a sparkle in the frog's eye. Just a little flick of clay and set it in there like so. And then we can add a little nostril on either side with just a little tap of our potter's needle. Just a little tap. All right, you can leave them here or you can take a smidge bit of pink and then roll it into a little snake. Tap this edge so that it's flat and then set it right there like so. You can take your potter's needle and make an indent in there if you want. All right, now sign your name on the back. If you have any questions, or if you have any requests for my next videos, let me know in the comments below. I hope you had fun. Have a great day, guys. Bye.